Um, I have here Soliver number one. This is my first mandolin build. Um, it's a flat top Army Navy style mandolin, circa Gibson of the 30s or flat iron mandolins. Um, I built from plans uh, from Terry Majewski at Crystal Forest Mandolins. Thank you, Terry, for the plans. Um, it has a Sitka spruce top, torrified Sitka, um, a mahogany back and sides. The mahogany came from a uh, eight quarter slab that lived its former life as a coffee table, belonged to a family friend who passed on and no longer needs a coffee table. Um, funny thing, uh, when I was cutting out the headstock, you can see I found a little screw hole there. So that's a fun remnant, um, reminder of its past life. Um, the headstock veneer is uh, ebony with a strip of sapele down the middle. Um, ebony radius fretboard um, and a uh, Cumberland Acoustics bridge. Thank you, Steve, over at Cumberland Acoustics. Uh, Grover 309 tuners. And I, I did a speed neck um, like... Uh, like on my uh, Silver Angel mandolin, I got a little bit of uh, advice from uh, Ken Ratcliffe on how to do that speed neck. It's basically no finish with just a little bit of oil on it. Um, the rest of the finish is just an oil varnish, um, polished. Um, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Um, it's got a nice shine to it, um, but not too, too shiny. Um, gold appointments, really cool. Um, it's uh, definitely not a bluegrass mandolin. It's more like for old timey stuff and, um, and Celtic or uh, waltzes. So with that, uh, enjoy the Tennessee waltz. Thanks.